Ever seen a manga edit and thought, how do you even do that? Most tutorials drag on and overcomplicate it. So here's the simple way to bring a manga panel to life. First, grab your image and mask out the character. I'm going to name this the base lore since it's what the whole edits build off of. Keep it clean because if the base is messy, everything else will look messy too. Now we start breaking it down. Duplicate your base layer for every part you want to move. For me, it's the hair and eyes. Mask them individually on their own layers. Also mask anything that will be covered later, like the ear behind the hair. If you don't, it'll double up and it'll look fake basically. Each moving piece gets its own layer. Now we're onto the painting and cleanup. This part cleans everything. On the hair layer, paint over the ear so it's fully hidden, and on the base layer, erase the hair so you don't see doubles when the hair animates separately. The goal is making sure nothing overlaps wrong. Think of it as like prepping puzzle pieces. Each piece needs a clean edge before it can move. Now we're on to animating with puppet pins. Grab the puppet position tool. On the hair, place pins at the roots and the tips. On the eyes, draw pins on the eyelids. Set a keyframe at the start, then move a little down the timeline and adjust the pins. Subtle movements are better, like the hair slightly swaying or the eyes blinking. Now we're onto the compositing and shadows. Add a solid background, create an adjustment layer on top, and add BCC light leaks. This gives subtle animated texture, like light passing over the panel. Now let's add shadows on the hair. Let's add a drop shadow effect and tweak the distance and opacity until it feels natural. For character shadows, add a black solid, mask the shape where you want the shadow, blur it with Gaussian blur, and lower the opacity. Do the same for the hair with its own solid, so both cast shadows separately. For a bonus, on the hair shadow solid, add a little fractal noise for extra texture. It's barely noticeable, but it makes the shading feel less flat. Alright, time to see who won the one frame pack giveaway. I've got everyone who commented one frame king on the wheel right here, so let's spin and see who takes it. And the winner is Ripper. Congrats, bro. To claim your pack, just DM me on Instagram. Uh, it's on the screen with proof. Uh, it's your YouTube account, and I'll send it over. If the winner doesn't reach out within a few days, I'll pick another one. Huge thank you again to everyone who joined the giveaway. And don't worry, more of these are definitely coming soon. And that's it. From one static panel to a clean, moving manga animation. Try it out, tag me with your results, and I'll check them out. More quick tutorials coming soon, so stick around.